Good morning, I am Ryan Gano, and welcome to this week's Jane Blossom News. In our brand experiment here at Jane Blossom High and JLN, we're going to try to share with you every aspect of this fantastic school. We'll be covering just about everything, and so far, in just two episodes, we've covered the freshman principal, Coach Lilly and his football team, following all mid-state choir auditions, SpongeBob the musical, and of course, the Marco Smith. We're doing this to accomplish two things. Share with you, our teachers and our peers, the fantastic things that we're doing here at James Lawson. And we want to share with you the Greater Belgium community and all their support for Lawson and what that makes possible. And our first story is about James Lawson's choreographer extraordinaire, Michelle Bernier. She is a woman who lives and follows her own passions and serving double duty at James Lawson High School as both the French teacher and the dance instructor. And she's also the choreographer and visionary behind the fantastic dance productions that will be held in the LPAC. Michelle Burlingame loves to see kids gain confidence through dance. And then just like magic, it just happens. Dancing is not easy, and neither is teaching. Now add choreography, amazing, imaginative, mind-bending shows, and you've entered the world of Michelle Burlingame. Went to college, and I thought I wanted to own a dance studio. I got to thinking, I worked at the dance studio that I grew up in, so I got to thinking, what about that job do I like? What about running a dance studio? Why do I want to do that? Well, it's because I like teaching. And teach she does, as she is not just the dance teacher, but also the French teacher at James Lawson. I thought I'm going to be a French teacher. So I got my degree in French and a minor in dance. Um, but I had a lot of experience with dance. Um, I'm pretty excited for our new show. I think it's going to be really fun. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite classes and the only class that doesn't actually stress me out. Our classmates, we all got comfortable with each other first and then now I feel like everybody feels like a little friend group or family. I love her to death. She's actually a really good dance teacher and she dances really well and doesn't give herself the credit. Que también a las personas que me hablan inglés pueden unirse a nuestro grupo de danza porque no se necesita hablar inglés para estar en danza. So I found over the years that it's easier for me to have a theme. Um, and so every show is based on something. So um, the last year we did Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I decided to use Bohemian Rhapsody for the court scene. Then I just started listening to a lot of Queen and I started to realize every scene could be a Queen song. Sometimes it just comes from little by little things just add up and then all of a sudden you're left with the final product. Roll, hit, roll, hit, make that hit a little sharper. This show that we're doing in December is everything is kind of related to water. There's a classical number that we're doing with the orchestra that by live for us. And um, that one, the composer wrote the song about a river. Despite all of her successes, she is still hesitant to take credit for her students' great performances. I don't think I'm doing anything special. It's just the art of dance. I mean, it's, it's just good for your soul. So we want to introduce a new segment today called the Jane Lawson Library, produced by JLNN's Omiya Gayo and Bailey Billis. This segment will focus on the books personally picked by our librarian that should be of interest to you. Miss Fallon, if you don't already know that. And uh, this is the first book that we're going to feature on the uh, James Lawson High School News. Um, this is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It's the first of a series where every book takes a fairy tale character and sort of reimagines them in a different world in a different situation. So this first one is based on Cinderella, and it's about a girl who is part cyborg, so she's part robot, and she lives sort of like a Cinderella life. She works really hard, but she lives with a stepmother and sisters who aren't always nice to her, and she's out for Prince Charming, but at the same time, she's very independent and very strong will and as she comes to find out some things about her life that she never would have dreamed and never would have guessed and it ends up being a story that's very different from Cinderella but that you can definitely recognize Cinderella in. And our final, final story this morning is the ever popular Marco Smith. What's good Lawson? Today for the Marcos Smith, we are going to be asking many students at Lawson what is the greatest song of all time in their opinion. Let's go. What is the greatest song of all time? That's why I'm asking you. I really don't know, but probably something by Lauryn Hill. I really don't know a specific 
song that I can say like right off the bat, but yeah. Yeah, the Miss Education Lauren Hill is a classic. Yes. Okay, who am I here with? Haley Z. Okay, what do you think is the greatest song of all time? Uh, Playing Games by Summer Walker. Session 32 by Summer Walker. <laughs> Summer Walker's just that great. Yeah, it's, it's really decent when you get to know her. So, like, overall, without, um, like, my personal opinion in there, my personal bias, I mean, it's got to be something, like, historical, um, maybe Moonlight Sonata, something that has kind of influenced music. My personal favorite, the greatest song of all time, may just be, it's called Havona by Weather Report. Really good 70s jazz band. The greatest song? I have a few, but my favorite one is, I think it's called Me We Halfway. I forgot who it's by, but. You talking about, about the Black Eyed Peas? Yeah, that's my favorite song, honestly. And who am I here with? Brooklyn. Okay, what do you think is the greatest song of all time? Probably let them know by Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller the GOAT. Go tune in. <laughs> who am I here with? Zaire Griffin. Okay, what do you think is the greatest song of all time? Kills by Chief Keef. Why you say that? Um, because it, it really it really speaks to me, you know what I'm saying? From where I'm from. So yeah, yeah. What was the greatest song of all time? Star Spangled Banner. Why you say that? I mean, it evokes patriotism. I get choked up every time I hear it because I'm proud of our country. And you know, it delivers a great message so that we should be proud of our country and be supportive of our country and uh, that this is truly the land of opportunity and anybody that's here regardless of what circumstances you encounter you can make a great life in this country all right all right I'm... greatest song of all time is the star spangled banner like yeah. like what uh, coach strickland just said it invokes patriotism uh it's a tearjerker I mean, that one line th that our flag was still there, I mean, that, that gets me every time. Well, and that was it for our, my segment. Be sure to have a good week, Lawson, and stay safe out there. That's all the show that plays this week. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week.